Holy shizzle! Ooh, those look bad. I don't have to be a car person to know that these look good and these four look bad. <laughs> exactly. Welcome back to another episode of Build and Drive where today we're gonna tear apart our old BMW N52 engine that was burning one liter for 300 kilometers. Damn! Let's find out exactly what went wrong with this engine. I want you guys to take a guess in the comments below. Was it valve stem seals? Was it piston rings? Like what went wrong? Why was this thing burning so much oil? It was definitely not leaking the oil. So I wanna hear what you guys think, but let's get started. Let's just start diving in. The first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna try and remove the cylinder head. We have to disassemble a few things like the vanos, get the timing chain off of there, undo all the head bolts, and then we'll be able to lift this thing off onto my table and we'll be able to flip this over. We're gonna take a look at the bearings. First, you have to remove the oil pump and other stuff, but then we're gonna get at the bearings, take a look and see if all of those are okay because I'm guessing the oil starvation may have caused some bearing damage but I'm not sure yet. And then we're going to remove the pistons, check the piston ring gap on each of the cylinders and find out exactly how worn out this motor was. So let's get started. Ah, oh, here we go again. All right, so I tried to take this engine apart, but I wanted to show you what sludged engine can look like this is like a black tar and i know it's not the lighting here just look at this it's like this really thick goo and this was going up and down the camshaft it's not just dirty oil it's like a like like a black paint almost oh this one's milky too so i know people say that oh you can clean your engine with uh, all these products and stuff like that but Honestly, changing oil more often and clean oil is the best way to go, in my opinion. There's just so much black, tarry, milky kind of substance on this. It's terrible. All right, so let's take this head off. Put this down in there. Three eighths extension. Righty tighty, lefty loosey, right? One, one, two, three. <laughs> These are tight. Jeez. I need someone to help me hold this. You son of a bitch. <clears throat> All right, so the interesting thing is what I found as in inspecting the head, all the head bolts are taken out now, which is great. However, I don't know if it's just grime or debris, but there's lots of like metal shavings here, or maybe it is just dirt, I'm not sure. So it makes me wonder how this cam is doing, because there was a rattle in the head, and I'm trying to find where that rattle was, and I don't seem to see it yet. Um, small rattle under low RPM. Uh, maybe this thing has a bit of rod knock, but the cam lobes seem to all be in pretty good shape. I mean, usual wear. There's one that has a small line in it, but you can't feel it. And I'm also interested in taking off this cam bearing ledge and seeing how it's doing. Um, Intermediate shaft looks fine, intermediate rockers look fine. So everything is out, head bolts are out. I noticed that three, there should be four bolts. One, two, one under there, three, four. There should be these four bolts here that hold the head in place and those are not there. So I wonder if this has been opened up before or it had a head gasket or something, but as you can see the heads on those bolts are are not there anymore they're gone so maybe we'll find a few bolts in the pan later that same evening try to get close to it we're gonna lift it up where am i holding on to just this top part here okay. yeah 
We're gonna lift it up. We're gonna have to turn it a bit to get it over this piece. Okay. And then we'll bring it down here. Okay. Okay. Okay, ready? One, two, three. Oh my god. There's no way. Something's still attached. There's gotta be. Oh no, okay, it's okay. okay. One, two, three. Okay, hold on. Perfect. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god! Put it down there. Yeah, yeah. Oh my god! Holy shizzle! <laughs> Ooh, those look bad. I don't have to be a car person to know that these look good and these four look bad. <laughs> exactly. So, what's your first impressions? Me? Yeah. Burnage, burnage. No, no. No, those two, two are good. Holy Jesus! What is that? Burnage. Look at that. Burnage. Those look good. Oily and oily. I don't know if that matters. And burnage, burnage. That one's not that bad. That one's not that bad. But look at these first two. That looks like a cake that I made last week. <laughs> There's something wrong with these two cylinders, eh? Something really bad happened there. And now back to your regularly scheduled program. So the head is off. Um, that's pretty horrible. Look how crusty that is. It's absolutely insane how much carbon there is on top of these cylinders one and two um funny thing is the cylinder wall looks okay but like holy moly i want to know how what the cylinder wall looks like on this one um because that's what it's supposed to look like <laughs> nice and clean nice and clean uh, a bit of carbon it definitely was uh burning oil here and when there's oil on top of the cylinder like that. I think this is the uh, valve stem seals that are leaking onto the piston. So what that tells me is either these piston rings are totally done. They're like not non-existent. They don't even work anymore. These two or the valve stem seals here are completely trashed. I don't know. We have to take it apart. But um, yeah. Comment below if you've ever seen it that bad before. Okay, well I'm gonna move this engine block out of the way. This thing's totes. I bet you piston one or piston two or something is rattling. Oh, I found it. I'll show you guys in a minute though. So let's flip this head over and take a look at the carnage. Oh. Let's see oil coming out there. I want to first point out that oil. Just look at the tar that is pouring out of the head. Just look at that tar. That's not normal oil. And if your engine is sludged, it will come out like that. And this oil has what, 2,500 kilometers on it? It's disgusting. Yeah, that's gross. So, before it was actually piston number three that was the problem. So on the head, there is a normal amount of carbon buildup um, in each of the cylinders. As you can see, the white, uh, what do you call it? I don't know. It's not dust, it's not powder, but the white buildup on the valves shows that our fuel injector cleaner and stuff that we were running through the engine is working so to speak um, but as you can see I mean the I don't know what you guys think but the cylinders look clean enough it's just when we get to the block um, that it's pretty interesting so there's one and two but now here's where the problem bit is is three and well number three specifically I'm gonna try and get zoomed right in on this spark plug because it is horrible so just hold on a second so this is cylinder number three as you can see there's a lot more carbon buildup on the back of the valves and the spark plug is almost non-existent i mean that spark plug looks like fused to the block look how terribly like there's like a ton of buildup around it it's disgusting and it's it's as hard as a rock wow and I know that this engine was going through spark plugs uh, on cylinder three at about 
one every 5,000 kilometers. I had to take the spark plug out, replace it or clean it. It was very bad. So there's one issue. There's some massive oil burning happening on cylinder three. But when we get to the block, you'll see what I mean. It's interesting why the block looks different or the pistons look different. So this is uh, cylinder number four. As you can see, lots of burning involved, but at least the spark plug is clean. So that's interesting to compare. And cylinder five looks just like cylinder one and two. Pretty normal, little carbon buildup, nothing too bad. Spark plug is working good. And also cylinder six, spark plug looks good uh, and normal buildup as usual on um, the valves. So I didn't see anything bad in the head. Um, I'm gonna take apart the cams. Yeah, let's look at the cams now. All right, intake camshaft. Um, the lobes all look good. There's a little line on that one, but it's, you know, it's not like a groove or anything. It's just a line. Nice and shiny. What's that? Oh, it's just a bit of dirt. Yeah, everything looks good. It's just a little dirty from sitting. No major grooves. Nice and shiny. Everything seems to rotate and move. Through. I mean, this engine was running and driving. You know, we drove it all the way to Munich six hours and back. Like, the engine was fine. Fine. But uh, it was just burning a ton of oil. Intermediate rocker shaft looks fine. I'm going to just take off this uh, intake cam cap. What do you call this? And uh, Just to look for any scoring right now. All right, let's take a look. Looks good here. There's no scoring. Looks perfect. So that's good. That means we had, you know, good oil pressure, and the Vano system doesn't look clogged at all. So our Vano filters are working. Let's take apart the exhaust camshaft and see what it looks like now. There's a tool that normally you hold this down and it centers it and all that. We don't have that, so I'm just gonna slowly. Release the pressure on these bolts. First, I guess I gotta loosen them all. So cam bearing ledges, they all look pretty good. And of course the most important part is right here. Normally this gets all scratched up. This is where it goes bad on where the Vanos gear cam gear connects. So we're lucky that this looks really in good shape. It is a bit shiny on one, one side versus the other. So like it's not as shiny here, but then it's shinier up here. I don't know why, but it's uniform across across the whole cam bearing ledge. So I assume that's just normal wear. And we're also very lucky that the camshaft itself looks good. That's just oil. And the lobes all look good. So um, just the one at the back here, I'll show you. I don't know if you guys can see that. It's a little bit uh, shinier. The shininess is not uniform. I don't know if you can see that. So maybe there was some wear on cylinder six. So this engine was ticking. Um, and normally the ticking occurs on one of these hydraulic lifters, normally back in cylinder six, at least on my other engine it was, so I just pulled that out of there. Look at how much like sludge is on that. Can you guys see that? Let me zoom in all the way. This is what happens to your lifter when there is sludge in your engine. It sits there in the back of the engine and then 
no oil can get into that lifter. Look at this. It's just like grime and grunge and you say, oh, but uh, engine flush can clean that all out. Like, no, I don't think so. And then the oil has to somehow get into this tiny oil passage right here. Tiny oil passage right there. Um, and yeah, it's pretty much sludge. So let's take this off. This one, but it's actually okay. So let's look at the other ones. This one also is quite badly sludged. See that? So then you got all that oil and junk going into these and then these don't work properly and you get your ticking noise. There is a way to clean these. You put them in some brake fluid and stuff. No, this one's still good. See, this one didn't have as much oil on it. No, this one's good. Yeah, so that cylinder six suffers from bad oil. Um, nope. Interesting. Where's the ticking then? Why would three and four be clean? I mean, five and six look okay. There's some play there. Something happened or it's loose all the way down to the bearings. We cooked some bearings, I don't know. That's interesting. These seem to be blocked. 